Welcome back guys to Design Junkie 58 and today uh, we're going to be focusing mainly on modular building. Um, what you see right here is actually just two of the main components that will fit onto my chassis which is already pre-built. Um, I'll be showing the mounting uh, in a separate segment coming up later in this video but for right now I'd like to go over a little bit of details just about uh, these two uh, suspensions. Uh, what, right, this is the rear suspension, this is the front. Uh, I'll start off with the rear because it's a little bit more simpler to uh, uh, just look at and to kind of take in. Uh, keep in mind I won't be making any any instructions for these, uh, mainly because you can find some good detailed pictures of these renditions on a brick shelf under Crow Killers or Sheepo, uh, whatever you want. Uh, they both do amazing jobs at building their own custom locks and supercars, so definitely want to go check them out if you haven't done so already. Uh, so, like I said, this is the rear suspension system. It is uh, independent and uses uh, double hard shocks to uh, maintain its stability. It's got the new diff uh, with a gear reduction of 12 to 20 and then 20 to 28, which is the diff uh, tooth count. Um, so really, yeah, there's not really much to look at. Uh, really basic, uses a lot of lift arms to uh, get the uh, suspension. However, it does use the uh, new wheel hubs from the Grand Prix Racer in uh, 2012, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, moving on to the more complicated uh, system is the front wheel drive system. Uh, yes, this is a, a 4x4 system or all-wheel drive, as you'll see momentarily, because in my uh, chassis it's got a center differential, so to have it to be uh, all-wheel drive, but I'll get to that later. Uh, so yeah, it's got the uh, wheels from the 8070 supercar. Uh, you could put whatever wheels you really want on it, uh, whatever preference suits your needs. Um, but like I said, I'm not making instructions. So uh, anywho, um, so yeah, it's got the double hard shocks again. Um, it's also got the new wheel hubs from the Grand Prix Racer. Uh, it's got the new diff, like I said, front wheel drive. Uh, and it's driven by the bottom uh, shaft right here, also with a gear reduction of 12 to 20, uh, identical to the rear. Um, in terms of its steering, it's got a lot of CV joints uh, to have a compact, uh, relatively compact design. And uh, it's actually steered on a slider mechanism. So what, I, what that looks like is when you steer it, see that uh, shaft right there, how it slides back and forth? That's just to provide extra stability. I actually added that feature. It didn't come on the original uh, design. But, yeah. So that's what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and I'll get back to you in the next video when I have connected it to my chassis. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, like I said, I've just mounted it to my actual chassis. The reason is I'm so far up is because this thing is massive. It's about the size of the same supercar, 8070, if not bigger. I had no idea the dimensions on this were going to be so astronomical. Okay, not really, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to have a little fun. Anyway, so, but seriously, though, uh, it's actually quite large. Uh, if we zoom in, or if I go down closer, it's got a center differential. Uh, with a driving ring and you can switch between all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive right now it's in right now it's in all-wheel drive and the reason I know that is because the wheels are controlled independently but if I connect it they're hard coupled together and they're forced to drive at the uh, same rate or just they're forced to drive all together but if I disconnect it uh, they can drive independently so um, so this is where the steering portion would be to control uh, steering. Uh, proportional of course, no Ackerman steering or anything like that, just all proportional. Uh, got a relatively large chassis, like I said it's already got mufflers. I don't plan on actually building a full uh, body for this uh, as I'm limited on my parts. Uh, so there's the steering again. Uh, it's got suspension. As, if, as you just have seen in the previous portion. You could connect a fake engine to this um, or add power functions, but I'm not going to do that for time's sake. So 
So guys, I'm low on battery, so but I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for any more uploads or updates I do. I do actually have a completed model ready to show you on my next video. However, I'm waiting for a final piece to complete it. Um, I'm really looking forward to actually filming it because it does have power functions. Um, but I just thought I'd take a break from power functions to do something manual such as this. Um, I hope you guys have found this beneficial and uh, modular building is pretty cool. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.